The Freedom From Religion Foundation recently went to Capitol Hill to lobby members of Congress and to let them know about free thought and the separation of state and church. With me here in the studio to discuss their trip are FFRF attorneys Patrick Elliott and Andrew Seidel. So Andrew, what was the purpose of this trip? Basically, we wanted to educate Congress about free thought and about some of the issues that concern our members. Uh, we talked about a number of things, including the First Amendment Defense Act, the Do No Harm Act, and some military vouchers that we've been hoping to stop. We were also there to take part in the Secular Coalition for America's Lobby Day, in which constituents actually go to Capitol Hill to talk to their legislators, and we helped train them on how to do that. And Patrick, what all did we manage to accomplish? You know, over several days, met with a number of offices, which was really important to build relationships and to be a resource on, on issues that we are experts on. We met with both Republican and Democratic offices and, and heavily talked about the military vouchers, which is what the Secretary of Education, Betsy DeVos, has been pushing. Uh, but also as part of Lobby Day, um, we were able to educate not only members of Congress, but also um, people that would be lobbying Congress. And so Andrew actually was on a panel um, discussing um, important legislation like the First Amendment Defense Act and uh, a protective act for uh, discrimination, the, the uh, Do No Harm Act, it's called. And so uh, Andrew did a great job um, you know, managing a panel and informing uh, people who are about to go to Capitol Hill about the importance of these bills. And Andrew, our visit uh, to Capitol Hill coincided with a historic landmark mm -hmm. uh, when it comes to free thought and Congress, and that's the formation of the Congressional Free Thought Caucus. Can you tell us a bit about that? Sure. This was actually a really exciting moment for us. This happened at the Secular Coalition for America's awards dinner on Tuesday night. Representative Jaron Huffman from California's 2nd District got up before the crowd to accept an award, and he said that he had formed this Free Thought Caucus along with two other representatives, Representatives McNerney and Raskin. Uh, and that this is going to promote the separation of state and church, work to end discrimination against atheists and non-believers, uh, and also provide a place where these legislators can talk about their journeys uh, out of religion, basically. A really exciting moment for us and for free thought in the secular community generally. Yes, there's just a few members of Congress, but it's still very early on, and we hope and expect that many, many more will join in. And Mark Pocan from Wisconsin Certainly. has already joined, already joined on, yep. Certainly. And so, Patrick, where to from here? How do we build on this? Well, I think, you know, this is a first step, obviously, in terms of building relationships with congressional staff and being an expert and, and a resource for them. I think, obviously, with uh, the Free Thought Caucus, there is some momentum that can be taken. And, and um, you know, we, we hope that that group would uh, continue to grow and also continue at some point to sponsor legislation that um, is of interest to protecting uh, the separation of state and church and also protecting um, you know, people from uh, discrimination and, and, and pushing back, I think, against religiously motivated legislation. So I think there's a big opportunity, um, you know, to, to use this as a starting point. Very promising developments. Thank you so much, Patrick, and thanks, Andrew.